The Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Pretty eventful flight for Qantas the other day. Yes. Uh, this is Japan. my worst nightmare, even though you, when you've got free Wi-Fi and you've got your iPad, you're sort of sorted. But, but the international don't, flights don't have oh, free Wi-Fi. That, yeah. That's so weird. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they tell you over Australia, you they a, can't... You need a seat. You yeah. need a seatbelt that works. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You need uh, your in-flight entertainment working. Mm. The end. Huh. Well, yeah. The end. And I know some. It's, it's happened to all of us sometimes. You sit in the seat and it's not working. You just move seats because they move you around. Yeah. Or they give you an iPad sometimes. The yeah, worst exactly. thing is, the worst thing is, when suddenly, and some of them still have it, you might be on like a plane from the eighties. Mm. The yeah. drop, scr- the drop screens come down. It's like, I oh know. no, no, no! I know. no it's the but worst. I'm ten meters away, and it's the size of a bloody pla- a coaster. You've got, you've got no choice. And I've got to watch it. this. And everyone's heads are all popping up. <laughs> so, you know, the, 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 the fan that you turn on to cool yourself down is drying your eyes out. <laughs> it's all too much. Uh, it's a well. Lot. That happened, right? So in-flight entertainment was down and now I were to use the little TVs on this Qantas flight and they popped on a movie that the staff had chosen. Everyone was going to watch the same thing. The movie was called uh, Daddy-O. Daddy-O, yeah. Not familiar. Yeah, well, it's, um, it stars Dakota Johnson, Johnson who was, yep. of course, uh, from Fifty Shades. Yep. Mm-hmm. So she's been in a few sexy romps. And mm. yes, guys, it was R-rated. <laughs> and it had some full-blown naughtiness in there. If you look that up, because I know I've read that article, I was mm. trying to think, surely, mm. surely they can't be playing but, an R-rated and, yeah, show. Yeah, what, why did they have it there? Because yeah. any... It was the M-rated staff choice. Ones, it's normally all the swearing and stuff yeah. taken out when you're on a flight. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Okay. No. Maybe oh, not. sometimes they are, mm. but yeah. Yeah, they do edit the movies, yeah. but often that's just edit, editing up like plane crashes. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so it was it was on for an hour. Idea, so it must have must have taken about an hour to get into the real like naked part. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I would Google the uh, trailer, and it's sort of like um she's in a taxi. Uh, Sean. Sean Penn? Yes. Yeah, Sean Penn is the taxi driver and then they're just having a really long conversation. So I don't know where the sex happens. <laughs> Must be when he drops her off. And I, <laughs> <laughs> well, there yeah. was some explicit texts and things as well. Yeah. Oh, there was some, yeah. filth, there was some mm. filth going on. So mm. an hour it went on until they um, decided to t- turn they it off. Say, yeah. Because mm. it wasn't suitable for children, Sean. There were children on that flight. <laughs> but sometimes in life... Please think of the children! And we always yes. do have to think about the children. Uh, I've told this story before when I was at home with mum and dad and my brother... Graydon had his girlfriend Emma over, and uh, you know Graydon's all being you know, lovely and charming and faking we, it. Yeah, and then, um, Dad pops on a v- VHS tape, and then we're all sitting there, and Dad goes, "Oh my God, it's a knockout!" I haven't said, "Oh, the host just passed recently." Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's a knockout, and we're going, "Oh my God, it's a knockout!" We haven't seen this for years, and that was that big outside obstacle game yeah. from the eighties. Yeah, this love it. Yeah, and then um, then suddenly Graydon starts getting a little bit worried and goes, "Um, I, I think this is a porno." <laughs> It's a knockout. And mum goes, no, it's not. It's a knockout. We watch this. It's, you're an idiot. And he goes, no, no, I think this is a porno. And dad goes, don't be stupid and sit down. We're, we're all sitting in the family. And then... <sighs> it was a porno. Oh, it turned into... She's got her knockers out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you remember Vag Stage? You could do yeah. this DVD. You could tape over them. Yeah. You just had to, like, knock that bit of plastic yes. out there. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so it was... And it was an uncomfortable hour for the rest of us <laughs> to sit there together. <laughs> so, because, I mean, sure, you could have turned it off, but why would you? Yeah. Well, committed. Yeah, so, yeah, my yeah, thing right. was... Well, so, I know what it's like to be in a show is something inappropriate to parents, let alone... Children. Children. Sean, Sean McManus. While we're talking about movies, and we do want to take things, calls that aren't just movies, but... Yeah, well, let's talk about my oldest son, well, he had a birthday party at my house one time. And How had, old? I think it was 11. You guys remember. Yeah, it was, it as was, much it as was, me. was definitely it a way... It might have been. Yeah. So the other kids were a fair bit younger then? Yeah, yeah they were. They certainly were. And uh, we thought we'd get out in the movie Kick-Ass because, you know, it's about a kid who wants to be a superhero. Yep. In fact. She, um, Chloe Grace Moritz, yeah. says... The C word in the first five minutes. There was one point where one after of the after murdering ki- everybody, the one of the kids couldn't handle it. He went in um, Lachlan's room and just kind of hid out there. So it was, that's it when, got really upset. So as a parent, <laughs> the Sean, as a parent, you trying to go in there and be all like. Oh, you had fun. You had fun, didn't you? You had a great time, didn't you? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here, yeah, yeah. some lollies. Yeah. Drive some lollies. <laughs> a lot of people ask me why I didn't turn it off, but I, I just wanted to see what was going to happen at the end. Because when we were kids, there was no... You know, I don't remember being told anything no. that you weren't allowed to watch. No. You just watched it and you dealt with the circumstances afterwards. <laughs> We didn't have. We weren't supervised. There was nothing. There was nothing that was inappropriate for us. That's what I remember from growing yeah. up. But nowadays, oh, you, 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 can't, you, can't, well, you, you yeah. can't show. You can't show no. R-rated movies no. to, on every screen on the plane. <laughs> Come on, uh, hello, Gemma. 
Hi. How are you going? Hi, Gem. What did somebody think of the children, Gemma? What What were the children exposed to? Uh, well, my ex-mother-in-law would give the grandkids whiskey or brandy before bed if she was struggling to put them to sleep. Yeah. What? Uh, a lot of people talk the, about the this. The kids are all there with their glass and they're in the den. <laughs> yeah, they're in the yeah, den yeah, talking about their day. jacket on. Oh, God, this client was just yeah, so hard. They probably have a cigarette in their hand. <laughs> 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 another brandy balloon. <laughs> Jim, it's kind of one of those things where the, that was a... No, you know, that's what like their grandparents... Like an old school kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, that's how they saw it. But think mm. about it back in the day. You, you would be sent to the shops to buy your mum some cigarettes mm. with a note. Mm. That's true. Please sell these smokes to my child. <laughs> Can I so say you can bring them back us. and I can have them. <laughs> Don't give your and kids brandy. The same would happen at the bottle shop too. Yeah, bottle yeah. Shop. We'd go to the bottle shop. My dad wants a carton of beer and then me and my brother would like and carry it back. That's heavy for a couple of kids. <laughs> yeah, carry it back. <laughs> Should have put in one stubby at a time. <laughs> oh, thanks, Gemma. Some memories there. Alison's in a Luca. Hello. Hello. Hi, Hi Alison. Alison. What's Hi. not right for Hi. the kids? Well, when, we, uh, when I was younger and the fun aunt, I than a mum as I am now, yes. I took my then beautiful 11-year-old niece to the movie, mm-hmm. as good fun aunts do. However, I didn't really check out the movie very well, and the movie happened to be The Sweetest Thing with Cameron Diaz and Thelma Blair and Christina Applegate. Okay. Yeah. So if great, you great. remember that movie... Oh, re- yeah, half remember well, it. Yeah. I, 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 I know yeah, I've seen it. it. But... It, you know, it looked like a chick flick. It looked like Charlie's Angels. Yes, yes. Kind yeah. of thing. So yeah. I thought this would be great for me and my 11-year-old niece as a bonding experience. And we get to the movies. We're running a bit late, so we had to sit in the very, very front row. <laughs> uh, middle of the very front row. Oh, yeah. yeah. And the opening scene, um, <laughs> Bella Blair's character gets her tongue ring caught. Ah. It wasn't Sisterhood of the Travelling Pants, was it? <laughs> it was not. It's what happens when the, when the sister would take the pants off. Yes. <laughs> I know. That I is... So, what, so, you so the, fun did, art, you, you? did you have to... Did you say sorry to her or did you, um, did you oh over-explain God, what I, was happening or what? I apologise to her pretty much. She's now a mum herself in her late 20s and yeah, I right. still apologise. She's a mum. She you probably had sex that? because of you. Did you consider, like... <laughs> giving her hush no, money so she didn't mention it, like just paying her <laughs> off. Did you consider that? I'd, I'd already done all that. I'd taken um, it to Maya. We bought the full outfit. We'd had the full yeah. day out. And yeah, so I... Anyway. Well, you, you know, ended on high. The thing is, 11, they're not stupid, so you can't no. say, like, oh, oh my God, no. look, she's dropped her contact lens in his lap. <laughs> no. I'm no, just trying to find that. it with her tongue. <laughs> <laughs> that's how you pick up contact, isn't it? Uh, <laughs> Alison, that's so uh, funny. Uh, As a fun aunt myself, yeah. I can see where, where you, that, how that could happen yeah, very that's, easily. Yeah, that's Natalie's levels for sure. It's the Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. It's a bit expensive to live. The pinch is on. I, um, yeah, everything is. I, I sometimes get a sneaky treat from the Dirty Bird. Yeah. Um, just get a couple of sliders, small chips, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, not hurting anyone. Yeah. And, of course, what I usually put in the mix is, is, is a gravy. And I just, even though I can afford it, you're mentally making, I can't get over the hurdle. Money, you are. Nathan. I know I'm making mm. gravy money, but just the, the principle of paying, I think it's $5.75 for mm. a, a regular gravy. A regular gravy. That's ridiculous. And this isn't done by the pan juices of you know, no, no, Grandma no, Man. It's, it's, <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> It's, it's a powder, with water. yeah. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? So I don't know. Like, I mean, totally get it. There's just it's one person control. possibly at the back with a pool just staring at it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You're just paying that one person's wage. Mm-hmm. Well, it brings us back to the tea bags that you had just the other week when you got yes. two dried tea bags and they were $10. The dollars. I think that was They more, had us over the barrel there. They just didn't really know what to charge what for to them. Do. Well, what to so, do. Yeah. So we'll go to the highest amount we can think <laughs> <hang> of. <on. Yeah. laughs> But you know what? I can see that because that's not a thing. I don't just sell tea bags loosely in that yes. store. But this is um, this, ha- this has happened in Melbourne, Sean, mm-hmm. over the Melbourne weekend. town. Yeah, a uh, people are shocked over the cost of two pints, and these were pints of ginger beer. 
Forty-two dollars forty <laughs> for two pints. So they they they're twenty-one dollars twenty each. Are you I'll do kidding the me? Yeah, twenty-one twenty for a pint of ginger beer. That is are outrageous. You kidding me? This is where we are, 2024. Bloody pandemic. No, 2120. You... <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Nat. Uh, at that stage, because you know when you've gotten charged that amount, you've already put your phone across yes, the bloody... Yes, 100%. Yeah. Get it yeah. Can you... Can so, you no, thank that? you. Well, yeah. I suppose you can. Because that's stupid. But I wouldn't have embarrassing. Yeah, I've, bought, I've, I've not known the price of things, been absolutely mm. shocked at the at the counter and and gone through the purchase and acting like I couldn't have been happier. Mm. And inside, I was dying. And I mean, at a bar, you rarely even look, yes, just wait your thing, take your, your, your drinks and go back to your table. Hey. You don't really go, oh, how much are you charging me for this that? Would be the I know, but you're starting to these days. This would be the death of rounds, control. wouldn't it? Yeah. Yes. Just because mentally what a round would do would like just... Yes. Are you kidding me? It'd be like 400 bucks with a group of friends like yeah. for a round. Like you'd leave before yours. You would get out of there. <laughs> Start the car! Yeah, I always had a couple of mates who would always be the last people yeah. in the oh, round sure, in a group 100%. of mates. And of course by then half the people just go. Yes. And then they'll the... Yeah. And they're the richest people yeah, that yeah, I know. But they'll be about so say, they've, got both, don't they? they've got both, yeah. both of them. Yeah, they're, they're fine. I, I had the kind of the same on the weekend because I went down to the pub on Friday and um, I, I said to my brother, I'll, I'll get the beers to kick things off. Oh, and it was roller, um, eh? it was almost uh, it was almost 60 bucks for four beers and I had an absolute heart attack and then my older son comes in, Lachlan, that's the reason why we've gone down there. And I went, I'll, I'll go and buy him a beer straight away. And then once I bought his beer, and are we talking Swan Draft here? Yeah. The cost of Swan Draft, nearly $15 oh, uh, yeah. a, a a um, pint. And then, after I've paid all this money and yeah. started spitting chips, then Lachlan comes up to me and goes, oh, next time, I've got a card here you can use it for, it's almost 50% it's discount. It's a discount. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, Sweet at the least leg, Lachlan uses that. That's good for him. <laughs> yeah. His points were $8. So, on the comments, people are like, people mm. are like angry and also scared. There's an Irish person that flew over and said, I, like, he's about to come to Australia yeah. to live and said, I'm, I'm frightened. Over, he goes, I'm frightened of the prices mm. of pints here, let alone in yes. Australia. And uh, this person here, I went to a club on the weekend. They charged me for two vodka raspberries, $56. <laughs> now, I know that clubs are different. You know, yeah. clubs and bars, you know, you're expecting to pay a little bit more. But even at the supermarket, what are people doing? What are you, like, how are you affording everything? Because everything is going up. Everything is so expensive now. I feel like that's, you know, socially when you get out to enjoy yourself, because we all know the price of food and everything like that. It's, full, it's next level at the moment. Yeah. But socially is when you kind of get a reprieve from life where you just go, I just need a... Just need a drink just to need help a me drink. get through this. And then they really stitch you. Mate, you have to mortgage your house, get chips for the table. Yeah. The for the table. <laughs> everyone's, got, everyone's got their story, I think, yeah. since post-pandemic. Yeah. As things have been getting so expensive, everyone's got their story of, I can't believe they tried to charge me this or I paid this for that. Sonny's an Alan Brook, morning, Sonia. Hi, oh, Sonia. Sonia. You've got a bit of a rough line there. Sorry, I'm oh, oh, we're going to get you to we'll sort get back that out. To you, Sonia. We'll go to Kate in the Vines. Hi, Kate. Good morning. Happy Monday. Oh, oh, to you, Kate. Hey, Kate. Kate. 2024 prices be crazy, do you think? Um, yes, and then some. Mm-hmm. So, out for dinner last night with the fam yep. um, for my nephew's birthday. Mm. And we took along a cheesecake shop cake just to, you know, happy birthday. Yep. Yes. Um, Ten bucks to store it in the fridge. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Not, because they do, sometimes they do the, you the know. The cakeage, so yeah, they'll charge you. They yeah. cut it and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 no. Um, we thought this might be cakeage, and no, it was not. It was ten dollars to put it in the fridge, and we actually brought our own knife. So, well, to be honest, yeah. if, if, you, if you do the math of how big a cake is and then what the real estate market is at the moment. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Right. Even, even, even for an hour. That's actually a great deal. I'd sign up for like yeah. two years mm, with that one. Yeah. Mm. That's insane. Yeah. Yep. $10. What yeah, do you think, yeah. what do you think yeah. about that? Oh, I think you just store it for free as a I think gesture so. of yeah, If you're going to cut, if you're going to, if you're going to well, charge them for do. cutting it, which you, I'm guessing you are, you were charged to cut they it, weren't didn't you? Didn't even cut it. Oh, they, we they didn't cut, cut it. it ourselves. Did oh, they provide? Okay. Did they provide plates for you to put the slices on? We had to ask for the plate, mm-hmm. um, but yeah, and then we got the, you know, the um, um, the disposable spoons, like the yeah. Yeah, bamboo. bamboo spoons. Yes. Yeah, yeah, we got we got those for it. 
Oh, okay. Well, the ten dollars. If they're just so not, cake not. is just normally what two bucks or something. It's it's per person. Per they'll, person. they'll charge it. Yeah, and, and, and you many s- cakes for expect that because you're using their spoons, you're using their plates, yes. and they cut it up. For yeah. You. Yes. yeah, And and also if they also have a like if you can buy dessert yeah. that you're doing them out yes. of purchasing dessert by bringing your own cake so yeah, the, but you can take your own ingredients for, for a coke spider in your bag <laughs> and just use it on the glasses anytime <laughs> well that's a stiff just one $10 for storing in the, story in in the fridge in the fridge seems a bit much thanks Kate Zoe's in Piara Waters hello hello oh, hi, hi, Zoe. 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 hi Zoe have you been stung yes taking my children to see Cirque du Soleil mm-hmm. Not the price of the tickets. That was that was quite reasonable yep. and yep. absolutely fantastic show. Great show. But you got absolutely stung at the snack bar. What happened? <laughs> so my husband and I went and said, oh, we'll get the kids, but you can choose something that you want. We want a, a glass of wine each, which, you know, they're $15 each. That's all so expensive. And is, yeah. is, was but it was in those plastic cups and it's sort of warm? Yes, yeah. exactly. Yes. Cheap, cheap, expensive yeah. wine. Yeah. Yes. It stings your mouth. But the fairy floss, that was, um, I, I think it wasn't even in a tub. I think it was a bag of fairy floss. Yep. $20 each bag. Oh, the, the, how oh big is the bag? Santa's sack, how big is the bag? And, I, and I, it wasn't that big. Just it like a normal fairy small. floss bag. Little, Just a little bag <gasps> of fairy floss. $20. And of course, I have two oh. children. So if they two can't bags. Share a bag, you've got to have a bag each. Oh it's mostly God, air as well in a bag. That would cost more than twenty cents. No, a drug dealer yeah. listening to this right now. Shut down your meth lab. Yeah. Start yeah. up bloody yeah. fairy, fairy floss, floss in those yeah. bathtubs of those rented Be houses. Fairy floss all electricity going to. Yeah. Wow. So my husband we... walked away from the bar and sort of looked at me and said, "Do you know how much that cost me?" And I was like, "Shush, shush. We're here to have a good time. Yeah. We don't need to talk about that." Then <laughs> again, though, it does no, have four thousand cups of sugar in it. Oh, yeah. You can't have a good time. You you actually can't have a good time. That happens to me too often. You cannot have it because it just stings you. So it ruins your night. It burns you that you pay $40 for a bloody fairy floss. Fairy floss shouldn't be more expensive than wine. Do you know what I mean? It dissolves in your mouth. (laughs) At least wine you have to swallow it. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) You just just want fairy floss and it becomes part of you. (laughs) Nathan, Nat and Sean podcast. Sean, Mm -hmm. I watched a couple of episodes of Nobody Wants This that you put me on to the other day. Netflix, Kristen Bell is on there. She's a podcaster. Mm. Yeah. And And he's a rabbi. And he's a young, hot rabbi and she meets him at a party. And um, yeah, it's bloody good. It is really it's good. It's really, it? really good. Yeah. It's definitely a chick's flick and I was right into it. It must be such a score, <laughs> wouldn't it be, to find someone of religion that is like model yes. hot? That must be so exciting. It's like exciting. the hot priest in Fleabag, yeah. second series of Fleabag. Yeah, yeah. There, there was a, uh, I get kept, I'm not going to say what school he worked at, but there was a hot priest that worked at, at, at a school. Um, I think, you know what? Yeah, and all the mums were saying oh, he is hot. And I saw, saw this dude. Get the, get he the was a good looking mass. cat, man. Look, if, you, if you're in normal, if you're, if you're next to hot people, I mean, uh, like, mm. amazing hot people, they're hot. Mm. But if you're, like if you're doing all right, but if, if you're doing all right, right, so like, you know, <laughs> you, you, you can cut, cut your way through a crowd. Yeah. You want to really find a profession that yes, doesn't where you, where you does, stand yeah, out. It's not stereotypically hot people. That's right. And then you become the hot person mm. in that industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so so when I was out in a surf break in Bali once, yeah. um, I was looking around and everyone's hot. Yes. I mean, yeah. apart yeah. from me and the rest of the gang that I was with, but it's at, it's too high a level. It's you just, don't stand yeah. out. Yeah. Great point. Um, Lady Gaga and Bruno Mars now. topic. Are you the hot person at work? No, I did a smile. <laughs> Nobody wants this. You've got to watch it. It's um, got Seth Brody. Is it Seth Adam. Brody? Seth Adam. Seth Adam in it? No, yeah. Adam Brody. Oh, Adam Brody, sorry. Yeah, he, yeah. In it. he was in the OC. He played Seth. That's yes. It. Okay, in the OC. Um, <laughs> yeah, I knew there was a Seth in and there Veronica somewhere. And Veronica Mars. <laughs> and Veronica Mars. And it's bloody okay, good. Kristen Bell. So she's a podcast with the sister, and she's funny and not that loose sort well, of Well, she's hot And then she's met um, a young bloke, uh, very good looking, very dapper, really, really great talker, and um, she finds out that he's a rabbi, mm. and uh, a hot rabbi. And we're talking about what it would be like to be the hot person at work. We just yes, threw we, it out there, didn't think any yep. think anybody would call, yep. but we do have a call. We do. Hello, who is this? Hello, it's Harry. Uh, is that Harry? Harry that works with us. Harry? Harry, Harry, Harry you, Harry's currently on the Harry phone pa- under the I desk. Thought Harry, I thought Harry <laughs> dropped a pen. Harry. I'm calling from inside the studio. <laughs> <laughs> the call is coming from inside the house. So, so Harry. Harry, you can get off your knees now. Harry, are you asserting that you are the hottest person at this workplace? <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought I'd just give it a And you know what, Harry? <laughs> and, you know, it's true. We have said that Harry is a tall drink of water, yeah, but yeah. Mm. the hotness of that lead building is yeah. his last week. Yeah. yeah. And 
turns out he believes us when we say Hey, Harry, can you turn your radio off? We're getting some feedback. In the back, in the background. Why don't you just talk on that microphone? Oh, this one here, this works way better than calling you guys. Harry, what's it like being a hot person at work? Oh, it's great. It's pretty easy to run Tracy really well. They do, don't you? They open doors for you. Surely it gets a bit tedious when everyone's hitting on you all the time. Oh, my God, it's so frustrating. Can you guys just stop? Have you ever been in that situation where the cops have pulled you over, but because you're so good looking, you get away with it? <laughs> when Harry gets pulled over, he gets pulled over. Sean. Okay. And they're right into it. <laughs> well, Harry, you've won a prize. Oh. Um, you get to keep your job till Friday. Excellent. Thanks, guys. Oh, Congratulations. Wow. Good to call in. The pressure, eh? Nathan, Matt, and Sean is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcasts.com.au. Nova.